You know when you go outside on a moonless night and you look up at the stars? <laughs> I don't know why people do that. There's no tech news up there. It's, it's boring. AMD is set to officially announce its Zen 4 processors today, but prices have been leaked ahead of the event, and contrary to previous rumors, it looks like AMD has decided not to increase prices like they did with the Zen 3 launch. That was a rare time when I was upset with Dr. Lisa Su. She's taken such good care of me otherwise. Hey, Riley here, after the AMD event actually happened, I was about to lie to you, our script was incorrect. Uh, turns out the 7950X is $699, the 7700X is $399, and the 7600X is $299, okay? So there actually was a price cut, that's nice. Sure, this is disappointing for those who are wanting a price cut, but it's still welcome news during this time of aggressive inflation and not the weird internet kind. Yeah, see, that wasn't right. There was a price cut. There was, th the price went down a little bit, okay? Of course, this is a leak, so take it with a grain of salt, but either way, we'll have an official announcement from Team Red soon enough. I happen to know Anthony Young is at the event right now, probably partying with all the new chips. Until Nvidia reveals some details about their upcoming 4000 series GPUs in September, we'll have to tide ourselves over with news from a leaker who claims to have benchmark results for the RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti, which are mid-tier cards, just like this joke. Unfortunately, these aren't actual game benchmarks, rather the tests were done in TimeSpy Extreme, with the 4060 Ti scoring around 8600 points and the 4060 getting about 6000. Power draw was at 280 watts for the TI card, with the non-TI version coming in at 240 watts. If these vague numbers don't mean much to you, they represent about a 50% in performance boost over the current gen. Hopefully, we won't be paying a premium for the privilege, though. I don't know why John wrote that. We will. And did you happen to see an incredible deal on an SSD from Walmart over the last few days? A third-party seller on the Walmart website was selling an external SSD that purportedly held a whopping 30 terabytes for just 39 bucks. And of course, it was a gigantic scam. It turns out that the 30 terabyte SSD actually consisted of a couple of low capacity SD cards hot glued to a controller board, or what my weird Serbian uncle calls the Uncle Zoran Special. <laughs> When you plugged it into a computer, the drive's hacked firmware would report that it indeed had a 30 terabyte capacity. But if you tried to write data that was larger than the tiny capacity of the SD cards inside, the system would just overwrite whatever existing data there was over and over again. So when you went back to find your data later, it would be gone. See, it's not actually a scam, it's a lesson. Don't depend on anybody. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Grammarly, the free app that gives you comprehensive spelling and grammar suggestions to ensure you get your message across in the first email so you don't have to send five more emails to clarify. Those threads are the worst. Grammarly is as easy to set up as it is to use. Just install the free desktop app, log in, and start typing glorious, mistake-free messages, documents, and memos. And for more in-depth feedback, there's Grammarly Premium, which will help you rewrite whole sentences to transform their tone and clarity so you come across as more clear, confident, and captivating. Go to grammarly.com slash techlink to sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium today. Quick bits are the best thing I have going on right now, so don't ruin this for me. Although the Facebook Cambridge Analytica scandal was four years ago now, Meta has just agreed to a settlement in the related privacy lawsuit, meaning Zuck won't have to testify. So don't expect to find out any juicy details other than what's already been reported. This is kind of concerning, but also, does anyone want to see this guy try to pretend to not be an alien again? No thanks. The US Department of Justice is reportedly considering an antitrust case against Apple for its app store practices and fees that have earned the company plenty of criticism over in the EU. Although companies like Google and Meta have been more in the crosshairs of regulators lately, the DOJ is apparently miffed that they still can't install Fortnite on their iPhones. Big Battle Royale fans up there in DC. Do you live in California? you only have until 2035 to buy a gas-powered car, as the state has recently passed a ban on the sales of gas cars in the state starting that year. While it seems like an aggressive target, many large automakers have already set the 2030s as a timetable for transitioning towards an all-electric manufacturing. Although California isn't the first state to pass such a law, it's always big news when a jurisdiction that has more people in it than all of Canada decides they're done with gasoline. Cause we're frickin' not.
Snowmobiles don't run on apologies. We finally have word on pricing for Netflix's new ad-supported tier between seven and nine dollars a month. <laughs> Big news. For comparison, Netflix's current HD plan is $15.49 a month, and Netflix plans to sweeten the pot by limiting ads to only four minutes of every hour and not showing them if a customer is watching a Netflix original. So technically, you could avoid ads with this tier if you only want to watch yet another season of Too Hot to Stay Single Blind Lava Floor Date Challenge. There's way too many. And a Google patent has been uncovered that seemingly describes either a Pixel foldable phone or the upcoming Pixel tablet featuring a tiny camera embedded in the bezel that the patent describes as an ultra micro hole. This camera hole is so small, it will barely let in any light and may not even function at all. But if this hole is as little as it sounds, mini hole aficionados are sure to love this ultra micro hole because of just how teeny tiny this hole is. Tech news aficionados are sure to love what they'll hear on Wednesday when we present even more tech news as part of the web video that we'll publish on Wednesday. See you then.